in this video i will show you another example of super mesh analysis using super mesh analysis find the current through 5 ohm resistor for the following circuit okay i have to calculate the current through this 5 ohm resistor using the concept of super mesh before go into the circuit solution let me show you the current that is flowing through this 5 ohm resistor using the multi sim simulator see this is our circuit structure this is our emitter if i run this program you will see the current through this 5 ohm resistor will be equal to 4.952 ampere now let me start my analysis at first i have to identify the total number of meshes here a b c d a this will indicate our mesh number one d c e f d this will indicate our mesh number two as this is b so this will be b this will be a b e e c b will indicate our mesh number three and i have to assign the loop current to each and every loop in clockwise direction let's say i have assigned loop current i1 in clockwise direction i have assigned loop current i2 in clockwise direction in loop number two and i have assigned loop current three in clockwise direction like this after that i have to indicate the polarity of each resistor this 2 ohm is placed between loop 1 and loop 3 therefore see i1 is entering from this direction so this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and inside mesh 3 you will see i3 is incoming from this direction and leaving from this direction so this terminal will be positive this terminal will be negative look at the resistance of 5 ohm you will see it is placed between loop 2 and loop 3 you will see i3 will be in incoming from this direction and leaving from this direction inside mesh 3 so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative i2 is incoming from this direction and leaving this 5 ohm resistor from this direction so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative in case of this 14 ohm it is placed inside mesh 2 therefore as i2 will be entering from this direction so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative now look at the resistance of 4 ohm i2 will be entering from this direction inside mesh 2 so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative in case of this i1 i1 will be entering from this direction so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative so i am done with our step number two after indicating the polarities of the resistors i will apply kcl at this terminal where the current source that is shared by two independent meshes is connected that means i have to apply kcl at this node c now before applying kcl at this node now look at the mesh number three you will see here the mesh current is i3 and the mesh current is equal to the current that is flowing through this be branch you will see the mesh current and the be branch current are in the same direction from which i can write our i3 will be equal to 7 ampere because the current that is flowing through this be branch and the current in the loop 3 will be equal so our i3 is equal to 7 ampere let's say this is our equation number one now look here the mesh one and mesh two share a common current source of 5 ampere and anyhow we don't we cannot convert this current source into any voltage parameter that means our mesh one and mesh two will form a super mesh after removing this 5 ampere current source inside it now let's say i have removed this 5 ampere current source from our circuit as a result our circuit will look like this okay after removing the current source this branch acts like an open circuit due to open circuit there will be no current flow through this 4 ohm resistor that means i can remove this 4 ampere resistance also from our circuit now look at mesh 1 and mesh 2 we can combine mesh 1 and mesh 2 to form super mesh see this will be our super mesh in this circuit after combining the mesh 1 
एंड में स्टो एंड आई हैव टू अप्लाई के सी एल एट नोड हायर आवर करेंट सोर्स वाज कनेक्टेड सी इफ आई कंसीडर द लूप करेंट ऑफ दिस लूप यू विल सी फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन आई विल गेट ए करेंट आई वन इनकमिंग इन नोड सी एंड आवर करेंट सोर्स वाज सप्लाइंग ए करेंट ऑफ फाइव एम्पीयर फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन एंड our mesh current to was outgoing from the node c because it is in clockwise direction i2 will be flowing in this direction now i have to apply kcl at this node c i have to consider all the currents inside the super mesh and mesh 1 and mesh 2 will form the super mesh we don't have to consider the, the current i3 because it is outside super mesh so if i apply kcl at node c you will see this i1 and this 5 ampere current are entering so i1 plus 5 will be equal to i2 from which i can write i1 minus i2 equal to minus 5 let's say this is our equation number 2 After applying KCL at node C, I will apply KBL to our super mesh. Now let me apply KBL to our super mesh. Super mesh. That means the mesh that is formed by A B C E F D A. A B C E F D A. Okay, so from A to B, I will encounter this 10 volt source, and it's positive terminal first and negative terminal later. Therefore, I will get a negative voltage minus 10. From this point to this point, I will get this 2 ohm resistor, and it's positive polarity first, negative polarity later. See, I1 is flowing in this direction, and I3 is flowing in this direction. As I am inside super mesh, I will assume. I1 is greater than I3 so I can write minus 2 into I1 minus I3 from C to E I will encounter this 5 ohm resistor and you will see I2 will be flowing in this direction and I3 will be flowing in this direction as I am in mesh number 2 or inside super mesh I will assume I2 is greater than I3 from which I can write 5 I2 minus I3 after that from this E to F I will encounter the 6 volt source and its positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore I will write minus 6 from this F to D I will encounter this 14 ohm resistor and its positive sign first negative sign later therefore its voltage will be negative minus 14 See through this 14 ohm resistor, we have only current I2, 14 I2. Algebraic sum of the voltages will be equal to zero. So if I simplify this equation, I will get minus 2 I1 minus 19 I2 plus 7 I3 equal to 16. And from equation number one, you will see our I3 is equal to 7. So if I put the value of I3 here, you will see minus 2I1 minus 19I2 plus 7 into 7 will be equal to 16. From which I can write minus 2I1 minus 19I2 will be equal to minus 33. And if I denote that with equation number three, now if I solve equation number two and equation number three, I will get our I1 equal to. Minus 2.95 ampere, and our I2 equal to two point zero four ampere. See, I have to find out the current through this five ohm resistor. From this direction, our I3 is flowing, whose value is equal to seven, and from this direction, we are getting our I2. Whose value is equal to 2.04. 
therefore our i3 5 ohm resistor will be equal to i3 minus i2 here i3 is 7 and i2 is only 2.04 which is equal to 4.96 ampere okay that's it thank you